Make sure you go follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to go vote for Street Behavior as your favorite YouTube channel on latinoawards.com. The deadline for voting is December 31st. Oh, look who has risen from the dead. Do I know you? What? You don't remember me? The dude who you stole his boyfriend about two years ago? Oh, you that fucking twink nigga talk he was fucking with before me. <laughs> I guess he wanted a real man and not an obvious bitch. All well, you little thug dudes are trying me, but I will advise you this. I am not the one. I don't know what that means. But it sounds like some real homo shit. I love how trade bottoms are telling me how to act. Man, get the fuck out of my face. I got shit to do. Like when you left high key for months and months and months on end? Why the fuck are you in my business? Just want to make sure you don't have the awkward moment I had tonight where I had to discover he had a whole new boyfriend. Nigga, what? Street behavior, no one can save ya Stick em up, son, and run what they gave ya Ain't nothing nice in the heist for the ice Ain't nothing nice in the fight for your life Street behavior, friends will betray ya Thought they would save ya, look who done played ya Ain't nothing nice in the heist for the ice Ain't nothing nice in the fight for your life I believe I got some enemies who don't wanna see me breathe Or even succeed, was all about the team But fuck the family when the fam ain't giving a damn about the me Let me see ya Shit gets real when cats is all shysty And the women behind them is all feisty Nasty but nice like Miss L.A. Nicey Give a fuck if none of these people out here like me Bite me, you ain't doing shit to excite me Coming heavy and I wouldn't take the shit lightly Fuck it, you ain't but a drop up in the bucket And at the end of the day, nothing is what you're stuck with If you don't believe, huh, the streets would deceive So you better get some street behavior up your sleeve huh, Cause round here we don't wait for karma Cock and leave the block in shock Trauma. Street behavior, no one can save ya. Stick em up, son, and run what they gave ya. Ain't nothing nice in the heist for the ice. Ain't nothing nice in the fight for your life. Street behavior, friends will betray ya. Thought they would save ya. Look who done played ya. Ain't nothing nice in the heist for the ice. Ain't nothing nice in the fight for your life. Street behavior. Who the fuck could do this? The fuck? Yo, what the fuck are you doing in my house? I like the young. We be at the club and shit, but showing up in my house is completely inappropriate. Well, I mean, I figured we could like hang out or something. What? Come here. What? What do you want? Well, I was in the neighborhood, and I figured maybe we can like hang out and talk. Talk about what? You know, this stuff, you know, well, you know I kind of fancied you for a while. Look, man. look, look, bro. Before you even get into all that, we already discussed this. We've been down this road. I'm not gay. That's well, not me. if you aren't gay, how can you have sex with men? <laughs> what I offer is a paid service. This, I don't go around having random sex with random niggas. I, this is a job. That's kind of hard to imagine, you know, being able to separate yourself from the situation. Well, this might be hard for you, but it's not hard for me. Well, do you ever think that maybe it's some kind of underlining attraction you're suppressing? I see where you're getting at, but nah. That's, nah. So, when was the last time you were with a woman? <laughs> I mean, no bullshit, it's been a minute, but I mean, bitches ain't too keen on fucking with niggas that fuck other niggas for money, but... I guess you're right. I mean, I've never even sat back and thought if, to even think of if I'm attracted to men or not. Well, have you ever tried having sex with a man without money being involved? No. That would make me gay. Uh, just having sex with a man, period, would make you gay. See, that's how most females look at it, but I mean, no bullshit, I've given up on love, I'm, I'm just about getting this paper, I'm about getting this guap. Well, maybe you aren't looking in the right places. Well, where should I be looking? Well, maybe 
you should try having sex with a man without money being involved. Word? Yeah. Look, I, I see where you're going. I'm flattered. Yeah. I can't believe we just had sex. I can't either. Real talk, I don't get down like that. I don't know what the fuck made me do that. I do. You're attracted to me. Oh, that's what it is. Ah, oh, oh. I see you working again. Man, if you don't get your big ass the fuck out of my face, yo, go ahead, man. I'm not doing shit. Oh, yeah, well, it looks like you're doing something. Why don't you come with me? Man, I ain't gonna listen to you. Man, I'm not going nowhere with you. Hold I'm up. not doing shit. Hold up. Fuck you. Know, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. Yeah, you ain't got shit else better than this. Yeah, What the fuck are you doing? Get off me! God! Shut the uh, Shut the fuck up! Fuck ah. When you surround yourself with those type of people, that's what happens. Bad things. No, it's, it's, it's not even that. I mean, I've never been locked up. Um, I mean, I've done shit, but, you know, it's never been anything to get me put away. You used to sell drugs. I do used to sell drugs. Yeah, I was dead, but, you I mean, you do crazy shit when you're alive, you know? And who was that? Russ. Wait. Wait. You used to date him, too? Yeah, and I found him back with that light skin dude. You mean Taki? Uh, whatever his name is. Yeah. What could I do? Um, I need a favor. I need to stay with you for for a little while. You know. Just Wait. Get back on my feet. You. Oh. Damn, son, you got the cake, yo. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. No dates in the apartment. That's what you said. I paid it right here. <laughs> You're such an asshole. I prefer to call it dick because that's what I give you. What did I ever see in you? I don't know. Dick was good. Yo, yo, get off of me. I, I, yo, I swear to God, when I get enough money, I'm out of here. Good luck with that. I have some good dick, man. I need some good ass. Come on. I'll be in bed. Excuse me, you're Giovanni, right? Yeah, I can help you. Can I ask you a question? Who are you? Omar. Oh. You. Yeah, me. Why him? That's what I spoke to Lionel. You two weren't even together. So, no, why are you even asking me this question right now? Because <laughs> bitches, I want to fucking know. And who's supposed to be all heartbroken who goes around fucking other people's men? Is this tragedy serious right now? So, well, you can imagine, man. I'm sure they ain't aware of the title. First of all, I 
if I'm not mistaken, didn't your man disappear, change his number, and not talk to you for months, so you got the nerve to sit here and try and check me? You got the world fucked up right now. Yeah, he may have left me, but guess what? He was aware that he was mine. So come some nigga in the streets pathetic, like this conversation and just like, yo ass. Oh, the fuck you think you messing with, pussy? <laughs> this conversation's not over. Well, me and Antonio Gonzalez, what? The fuck do you mean what? Look, I have to get to church before the end of service. Wait, what the fuck are you doing in the bathroom? Why don't I find this out now? All right, listen. You were right. My dad wasn't the best option in the world. And, and I just couldn't face you or mom just yet. That's not the shit an hour later. Well, my boyfriend's waiting for me at his church. Wait, your boyfriend at his church? Are you fucking getting a pastor now? I get so different lately. Seems like the same bitch to me. Of course, that's your best friend. You're not gonna see all aspects of his personality changes. You really like him, don't you? Well, before he met Thomas, I thought it was gonna be something, oh. but it didn't happen. You gotta understand that Lionel has a very specific type, and I never see him deviating far from it. Okay. Well, his dick thought I was his type. Please. His dick will send up for anything with a nice ass. <gasps> Bitch, did you just try to call me ugly with a nice ass? <laughs> what the hell is so funny? No, I would, look, I didn't mean you specifically. I meant in general. You gotta understand that Lionel is like your typical top guy. Okay? You bend over, put your face in the pillow, and it's all good. You can't take that shit too seriously. Because otherwise you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. Well, why are you acting so damn shady to be my cousin? Just shutting the bitch down and shit. I'm looking out for you because you are my cousin. Especially when it comes to my best friend. That bitch got a whole lot of issues most people don't even know about, let alone understand. Well, trust me, cuz. I know all his issues. <laughs> Not as much as you think you do. I can't believe you said that. Why does he want to see me, Mom? I, I don't know what you're talking about. My dad. Why does he want to be in my life? What happened? Lionel set us up on a meeting. Wait, what? And he never showed up. What? How? What? How did? What did Lionel have to do with any of this? What? Well, he's just trying to be a good guy. No, well, it seems to me a good guy would not go against a parent. I specifically told him not to get involved. What? Are you serious? What did I do to him? What did I do to him that he doesn't want anything no, no, to do no, no, with no, no, you? No, 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 honey. It has nothing to do with you. Nothing. Apparently he did want to see you, but probably for some narcissistic reason of his. Something to make himself feel better. And it's not your fault. And it's all my fault for picking, picking a bad husband and it obviously a bad father. Fault. Yes, it it's is. It's no more your fault than Giovanni for choosing me. You listen to me. You are nothing like your father. Do you understand? You are nothing like your father. I didn't want to hear any kind of thing like that. This is my fault. And I know now that I was just taking out all your father's mistakes on you, and I am sorry, son. I am very sorry. Is that what you were doing? Yes. And I, I know parents make mistakes too, and I am sorry. Are you, sorry. Are you admitting that you were wrong? Listen. Giovanni? He's a nice young man, and I'd be happy to have him as part of our family if that's what you wanted to. I, I, I'm sorry. Oh, is that really what's happening right now? While you were away, I got to know Giovanni a little bit better. He's, he's a nice man. He's a hard-working young man. Reminds me of me when I was trying to start a life with your father and build a foundation, and then I guess that didn't work out, and I'm sorry. Really? What a different a couple of months made. Yes. I guess it does. Listen, I would love to talk to you more about this. I'm here for you. I just, I got to get back to work. But I want you to know something. Again, you listen to me. None of this is your fault. You are a good man. You are a strong man. You are a great son. And 
love you, baby, and I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. So, dress up, put on something nice, Wait. maybe we can take some selfies for Instagram. Where you to? What the hell is selfie? What's that? Why are you so ass? No, no, see, you can't say that to me anymore, because look, you didn't see this. I got a oh. phone. It's one of those okay. smartphones. Well, I don't know how to use it all yet, but I'm smart. I got right, a smartphone. I know how to use it. Text me the text address, you? the new address. I don't... Uh, no, send well, me I a voicemail. Send me a voicemail, leave the address on there. You want to have lunch at my house? I'll meet you at your house. You sounds good. Alright? Baby, I'm sorry. You. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Mom. Thank you for everything. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Talk to my mom, yo. You. <laughs> you were the guy that just opened up for me, right? I prefer the great Gabriel. The great Gabriel. Seriously? No, just joking. I didn't think so. Well, you could pay me enough money to perform in that place right there, yo. Well, all of us are not blessed with record you know, contracts or whatever. I mean, it's about being at the right place at the right time. So you're trying to do the singing thing professionally, is what you're saying? Of course, of course. Okay, well, maybe sometime you need to come and sing for me. Let me hear some more of your stuff. Are you flirting with me because I am? No, I'm not flirting with you at all. But you can call me Stefan, though. But I'm um, look, I have got to get going because my car's going to come up. Okay? Alright, I'll see you later. I don't even understand. Why the fuck are you here? You left me there. How did... I'm sorry, I didn't know what to do. He's yeah. a police officer. Who cares? I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't have left you. Ramel? Yes, ma'am. Um, we think you're gonna be alright. There was no scarring, there was no tearing, but we still sent your blood work out to the lab because we assumed there was no protection used. So, assuming everything comes back alright, you're going to be fine. But, listen, I still think it's a bad idea that you don't report this to the police. Tell them what happened. I agree. You know exactly why I can't report this to the police. Listen, 
if you change your mind or... I have a friend, his name is Travis, he's over at the 101st Precinct. You can talk to him, I give you his number, he's a good guy. You can... Thank you. Seriously, I really... Listen, if you're his friend, you really need to convince him to report this to the police, to tell them what happened. You really should. Yes, sir. I did. You got my money? No, you ain't getting no money until that nigga and drinks are working for me. Yo, son, that was not a part of the deal. Yeah. It's a part of the deal now. Just remember, nothing in life is guaranteed, Mr. Detective. You know what? You should take your ass in right now because this is on some bullshit. <laughs> take me in. My yeah. nigga, that shit is mad funny. Just remember what I got you on tape doing. Don't you get sick and tired of being a manipulative son of a bitch? <laughs> the nigga, nah, that shit is mad. Dick hard. What you been suffering? Yo, you are a sick fuck. You know that, right? Man, I may be a sick fuck, but remember, how you got a kind of that you live in. Alright? What? Listen, I'll be right back. You got my package in Takaja Crate? Yes. yes. Deposit into my account. You don't always take care of my beautiful ladies. Boy, please. This is a business transaction, not a love connection. I'm just trying to pay your ass some good compliment. You bitches are just fucking basic these days. Excuse me? Did you just call me a basic bitch? Yeah, problem? <laughs> yeah, it's a big fucking problem. Because you got me doing this illegal shifting when you call me a basic bitch. I'm pinned. On time? Yeah. So? I could stop doing this anytime I want and your little package is just gonna go disappear. Calm your fucking ass down and go home and go check on your package. Okay. Can you believe that bitch showed up to my job? I still can't believe you fucking lying, lying although. Honestly, I don't know what came over me. I know what came over you. The cakes finally wanted the cobwebs brushed off. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, how's work? This work is hard. I don't know why my mother thinks they can do it. I don't get it. Did you have the XP screwed over anyway? I mean, yeah, I did, but this is just not worth it. Right. We know what to say about Carmen. It's a bitch. Sidebar. What's this told you? Okay. Oh shit, he's going up. Look, look, look. I'm sorry for staying like a creep. I think you must, you're the most attractive man I've ever seen. Yes, you. Flatter. Flatter. Just say thank you. I'll give you the opportunity to spend some time with you. If I can find the time, I'll If I may say, it's easy to say no. It's a challenge if you say yes. I spent some time with you. I'd be honored if you spent some time with me here in my last few days. He'll call you. What's your number? Three hits. Hush. He will not be the day I had. Mine surely wasn't any better. Why? What happened? Lionel sets up a meet with me and my dad, and he doesn't show. He did. I'm even surprised. Lionel was always disappointing somebody. How could you blame him for my dad being the deadbeat? I mean... You mean nothing. You keep blaming Lionel for God knows what, and he's been nothing but a good man. A good man to you, matter of fact. So what, he's fucking other dudes? Oh yeah, you think that he's been a good man? Yeah. I'm trying to know if it's fucking Giovanni. What? Fuck. Oh.